Microsoft Dynamics SL is a project-based ERP solution that provides government contractors with accounting, project management, billing, and materials management capabilities to meet DCAA compliance needs and provide flexibility to help grow the business. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to enter time as an employee, how to approve time cards as a manager, and how to review summary reports as a project manager. Let's get started. Microsoft Dynamics SL offers a web-based time entry solution called Project FlexTime. Project FlexTime provides a secure solution that can be accessed wherever the project team members work, in the office, at a client site, on the road, or at home. The Project FlexTime screen displays the projects that are currently assigned to a user, removing the need to manually select each project line. The information displayed on each project and task can be customized to meet specific needs. Time periods, noted by the red line, can be defined as daily, weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, or monthly. Hovering over the project line displays summary information about the specific timeline. For the purpose of this lab, just press any key and then press Enter. Note that a warning is displayed. It indicates that actual hours have exceeded estimated hours. As hours are entered for a time card, the system will show warnings around late time entry and when entries go over estimates. Three note fields are available for data entry the actual description for the work being done, an invoice comment to be printed on the invoice, and internal notes. As changes are made against a time card, the change reason field becomes a required field. After the total hours for a day are entered in the time entry grid, they can be split between billable, non-billable, and overtime. Once all the time for a time card has been entered, the time card summary button for the week is pressed. This screen provides a summary of the current time card. A detailed report of the time can be printed before or after submitting a time card. The details of the time card can be viewed through this report. Once a time card is ready for approval, the status is changed to completed. Now that we've entered time and submitted a time card, let's take a look at the approval process. Approvers are notified through email or online notifications that time cards have arrived, which require their approval. A common screen is used to approve time, expenses, and invoices. In the center of the screen, the most recent time card from Tracy Tallman is displayed in summary. Let's click on the details link. The days, hours, and notes entered against each project and task help us to determine whether to approve or reject the time entered. To approve the time card, we'll choose one of these actions. We can choose to approve, reject, or delegate approval to someone else. In this case, we'll select Approve. Next, we'll commit our approval action. The time card lines that have actions taken against them are then removed from the approval screen. Using Microsoft Dynamics SL, you can run internal floor checks as required by the company. This screen shows the status of time cards for each employee defined in Dynamics SL. From this screen, notifications can be sent for missing time cards or other items. The Project Analyst screens in Microsoft Dynamics SL 
provide project managers and accountants with financial information on their projects. The information is available securely inside Microsoft Dynamics SL or through a secure web-based solution. To view information about the project we've been working on, let's start by clicking on the project link. When we select our project, a variety of information is displayed in the project snapshot. The final summary includes revenue, expense, and margin. The AR aging summary shows dollar values by range. The unbilled summary and account balances are also available. To get the additional details, each of these summaries offers the ability for the project manager to drill down on the date. For example, let's drill down on the AR aging summary by clicking on the first value listed. On this page, all of the invoices that make up the AR aging value are displayed. To drill down even further and see what is on each invoice, we can click on the invoice number. On this billing detail screen, all of the entries are displayed for the invoice we selected. Let's return to our project snapshot. From the Project Analyst screen, we can also view Project Net Profit information. On this screen, we can view commitments and actuals against a variety of accounts and categories. To learn more about a value we see, we can click on it to drill down. Let's drill down on the Materials Commitment number. By drilling down, we see a list of purchase orders associated with this commitment value. Let's return to the Project Net Profit screen. If we want to learn more about actual amounts, we can drill down into those numbers as well. Let's drill into the actual amount for Labor Direct. When we drill down, we see all of the Labor Direct entries are displayed on this screen. System Security provides the ability for you to determine who sees what information, such as amounts and units. As you've seen, Microsoft Dynamics SL delivers functionality that helps government contractors be DCAA compliant and provides insight and flexibility to help grow the business. Thanks for watching. For more information, please contact your Microsoft representative.